Sir, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Oh, yes, okay, fine. Moving on, but extremely hot. Extremely yeah, hot. Extremely. You are uh, there in Dharkhand uh, or move? No, today at home, sir. At home, Asansol. Okay, okay. okay. Asansol. So uh, you sh uh, check whether uh, you could share your PPT. Okay, sir. Right, sir. So give me the sharing rights, sir. I need the sharing rights. You already have. You have. I, I have it. No. Okay, sir. Right, sir. Any problem? Uh, just a minute, sir. I'll yeah, just yeah. see whether you just let me know, sir, if uh, you can see the no, presentation. Not yet. Not, yet. not yet. Right now, sir. Now? No. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Right, sir. With the screen, I don't know. Uh, Yes. Now, you, just now you can see, no, sir. Ah, it's the same screen. Your now you can see. Yes, we are seeing just oh. your computer screen. Okay, sir. Your desktop. Okay. Right, sir. Right, sir. So now it is visible. Yeah, but it's your desktop screen. You can see the desktop only. Yes. Ah, uh, not the presentation. No, no. Now, sir, now. Still the same. The, the presentation desktop. cannot be seen. No, only the desktop. Only the desktop. Okay, yes. sir. Okay, sir. I am seeing. Next, what can be done? Let me see where is the fa uh, fault is coming. Let me see, sir. Yes. Just a minute, sir. Just yeah. one minute. You can share the share the word. Eight and eight is share. Share it to share. This is share. I have to share this this thing. Share to the WhatsApp version.
सर नाउ कैन कैन इट बी सीन सर यस यस ओके सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक्स थैंक्स सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आर्यवर्धा सौजय स्कूल कॉम्प्लेक्स आई वेलकम ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स फॉर टुडेस ट्रेनिंग इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इनिशिएटिंग इनोवेशंस इन स्कूल and we have another uh, once more our best resource person sujit sen sir so without uh, delaying further i request him to kindly start the session sujit so, sir yes sir please sir please start okay sir thank you sir thank you so once again good evening to himanshu sir dr himanshu pande our mentor our guide the person who plays a very very important role in my life and whenever sir will say surjit sir you have to be there for the training i don't have the guts to say no to him and i hope i will never say no to him in future life also as long as both of us will live in this world uh, good evening to radhika ma'am madam if you are present today in the in this platform good evening to you uh, good evening to roma madam she was very active in the last training program i hope she is also today with us and good evening to all the learned and respected teachers who are present in this particular platform uh today we will discuss a very very important topic a topic that is really going great guns across the schools across the learning fraternity across the educational world and the topic is initiating innovations in school uh if you if you see if you are seeing this particular page right now you see there is a caption at the bottom it's written that a teacher has to be a prophet who can look into the future and see the world of tomorrow into which children of today must fit well these are just not mere words and sentences this entire sentence or a couple of sentences present over there draws deep inspiration from a very very famous educationalist who says that if you want to teach today's children about tomorrow's world you need to think in a different way you need to think out of the box you need to be different then only you can make the today's children fit for tomorrow's world because tomorrow's world is a world of complete difference so with this let's move forward and let us see what is that we all have today for all of us initiating innovations in school now respected teachers to be very honest with you you know in today's ever changing and the dynamic world schools are required to innovate schools are required to keep a note on what is exactly happening around the world to align their pedagogy with time to align their pedagogy to align their teaching learning methods to align their thinking in the right way because there is enough competition out there and i always believe in healthy competition which should always be there and with more competition more ideas come and with more ideas better education can be provided this is what we all believe we all follow and we all move with uh it is our duty to make the schools hubs of learning it is our duty to make the schools center for culture of innovation culture for the culture of education should develop over the culture of learning should develop within the schools then only children will come to the schools or else you know what can happen so right now i will request sir to enable the chat box and uh, i will request uh, respected teachers just to <coughs> see a few things after after this page i will tell you mm, you have to do something first of all let us see what our nep 2020 recommends and remember nep 2020 is the most discussed national education policy of the country there were education policies before this also there will be education policies after this but but somewhere down the line this education policy has actually turned the all the tables upside down the most discussed education policy and it says that students need to innovate adapt and become productive human beings yes that's absolutely true we just cannot say uh, just make them uh, go for the rote learning 
that uh, no that mug and jug and finish off and somehow get a job and live life okay that is there okay many are doing it but is that all about life is that all about life that somehow i must get a job and i must see that okay i, I get my square meals a day my clothing and all okay they are needed without that we cannot live but then we can also live in a different way na? so that is why students need to be innovative they, they, they should become productive shift from rote learning to deeper understanding with 25th century skills that's what NEP 2020 recommends shift from rote this is something you know this rote learning is something that has really really brought down the system in our country and because of this rote learning what happens the scoring part was something that defined a student that defined a human being okay this uh, this particular student has scored 90 percent ah he's a very good student he has a lot of ideas a lot of knowledge ah, he's a very good human being his behavior his attitude everything is fantastic on the basis of this scale human beings are or rather individuals are discussed or talked about but that's not the way no okay scoring marks is important i know we all know marks are important without that we can but what about scoring marks by roting something and after a few days you forget about it? Nowadays we talk about you know, this uh, uh, competitive learning, competency-based learning, competitive learning, creative learning, concept learning. What I, why, why these things are recommended nowadays? Because to bring out children from that rote learning to something for deeper understanding, let them understand, let them know so that they can produce whatever they have learned in their own ways and means that will give more confidence to the children to study to understand to stand up in life to face life in future need gifted and talented students this is the duty of the schools nep 2020 says that in each and every classroom you will always find that there are some gifted students some talented students who always will do something in a different way and in several training, training uh, sessions, we have discussed about this in length and breadth about some unique and gifted students. Now, these children should be given special support. Once upon a time, this was taken as a discrimination, to be very honest with you. Once upon a time, if uh, it, was, it was the philosophy of many schools across the country and that too of certain systems, that no, everybody should be given the equal opportunity. Okay, everybody should be given opportunity. Every, nobody should be looked down at, but, but, but if some special students are there who have some unique qualities, some special support should be given to them because they are national assets. I'm not saying that others are not national assets. Others are also national assets, but they are something different. Say for today, say in today, if, if something God forbids, if something happens to Sachin Tendulkar, the entire country will jump on it because he's a national asset. I remember, I remember, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> a few years back, the former Indian captain's uh, cricket captain, Saurabh Ganguly, he had a heart attack. And doctors from all across the country, all the special cardiac uh, physicians, cardiac surgeons, they all came from all across the country. They came to Kolkata and they treated Saurabh Ganguly for two to three days. Still, he was perfect. And at that time, Dr. Devi Sethi, who is, who is a renowned cardiologist of the nation, he said that Saurabh Ganguly is a national asset. And it is the duty of each and every one of us to make sure that we protect this national asset. In the same way, with the same turning, the talented students are also national assets and it is the duty of the teachers to make sure that they do something for this they give extra support and uh, special support to these national uh, this uh, talented students so that they can become future great human resources of the nation focus must be to develop competency based learning and in building future ready global citizens who can adapt to become lifelong learners now, what is this competency-based learning? The learning that a student will develop, learn or earn through his learnings 
so that he or she becomes competent enough to face the challenges of the world and at any given point of time they will be able to solve their problems not only their problems the problems of others competency based learning is not it's not that uh, making somebody competent enough to sit for the engineering entrance or medical entrance or something like that okay that's a small part of it but the major part is make them competent enough make them free enough, make them confident enough so that they learn the best and they are ready to become global citizens of tomorrow so this is what nep 2020 recommends and what we should do now uh I'll request, sir, sir, if you can, sir, if you can just uh, open up the chat box. And, open, uh, okay. let us... it's open. It's open, sir. It's no? open. Okay. Yeah. So just uh, respected teachers, what do you have to do now? A few questions will come. A few questions will come. Uh, where you will write C if you think it is a change. And you will write I if it is innovation. After that, I will explain more detail about innovations and all. Okay. So let us see what is the first question. Okay. First question is incorporating recommendations of NEP within the curriculum. Is it a change or is it an innovation? In the chat box, you write so that I can see that what you are writing. C for C for change and I for innovation. So let's start. Let's start. Let me see how many of you are calling this particular or, or, or taking this particular sentence that just now has come. Incorporating recommendations of NEP within the curriculum. Is it a change or is it an innovation? Let's see. So far, right now, till now, I have, I have not received any uh, answer on the screen. The chat box is open. I think the chat they're, box is open. They're, they're yes, sir. writing. They are writing. Many responses are there. They are writing. No. Okay, sir. Please, uh, please. Yes, many please. Many responses. Many responses. Acha, You can't see the chat box. No, sir. I cannot see, sir. Oh. I cannot see the this thing. The if you wish, I can box. read out. If you wish, I can read out. Okay, sir. So, Sarvada Guru writes C. Dipesh Kumar uh -huh. Singh writes I. Vikash Sharma writes C. Okay. Right, sir. Sundar Malakumari writes C. Sanjay Kumar I. Sukhuti by Innovation I. Santa Kumari Okay, C. so. So many, okay, many right. responses are right. Many have written, uh, many have written uh, C. Oh. Sir, how many C's have come? How many C's have come? Uh, mostly are C. Mostly Maximum are C. are C. No, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, I this is know. a this is a change. Yes. And what is your take, sir? What do you say? It is a C or a I? It is it a change C. or is it an innovation? We are C, waiting C, for C. your uh, uh, answers, sir, also. And probably uh, um, within curriculum is a C. It's a C. Yes, sir. See, recommendation, incorporating the recommendations of uh, NEP within the curriculum, it's a change. There's a big difference between a change and an innovation. Innovation is something which is completely new. Change is like oh, this our process is going on. Just remove that and put something else over there. That's what we call as a change. Okay, let's see the next one, sir. Okay, let's see the next one. Introducing adaptive assessment for personalized learning. Is it a, is it a innovation or is it a change? Is it an innovation or is it a change? Introducing adaptive assessment for personalized learning. Respected teachers, is it an innovation or is it a change? <coughs> uh, I think many of them, uh, sir, I think maximum I, I are coming. Is it coming as innovation? yeah actually it comes innovation yeah innovation yeah it's innovation it's an innovation yes see innovation. when you make a different type of an assessment it's an innovation yes teachers we teachers always have some innovative ideas and we come out with uh, different types of innovation yes okay thank you respected teachers and we'll have the third question designing in service training program for teachers designing in service training program for teachers well <laughs> i have one designing like this for you all you all are many of you are also resource persons sir himself is a very 
a well known resource person and we all make some sort of a uh, training program inside we design the training programs and all and i think all of you will agree with me that this is actually an innovation how you make it how uh, teacher friendly you make the training sessions uh, how much they understand it and how easy it becomes it should always be written in a very sim uh, simple language so that everybody understand so this is also an uh, innovation and i think i have we have one more uh, yes integration of augmented reality and virtual reality in classes definitely definitely this is also an innovation integration of augmented reality and virtual reality in the classes okay so these were some of the questions that we generally discuss among ourselves to find out whether it is an innovation or it is a change a change is something which is there but it is replaced by something new but innovation is completely new which is required in order to bring out the best okay we'll move forward We'll move forward. Innovations. Think out of the box. Think outside the box. Do something different. Bring new ideas. So what are the innovation gives us what? Now, if you see all these points, first of all, innovation is always a new and a novel idea. It has to be a novel idea. If it is not a novel idea, then we will not call it as an innovation. It is something which goes for destruction non traditional and non conventional ways move away from the non traditional and non conventional ways something different innovation is when you give spaces for experimentation innovation is something that adds value to an organization we say no this particular school is a very highly innovative school okay they always come out with something different their thinking is different the students way of uh, taking the world is in a different way uh, very, very, because innovation adds value to an organization it encourages creativity creativity is that type of a feeling which we all have we all have the creative feeling but if someone comes and and just ignites ignites that uh, fire inside us and if once we taste the value of once we taste the success of creativity or once we taste the value of creativity and once we get recognized Due to our creativity, then it will encourage more creativity. And that is what is the goal of the teachers. That is what is the objective of the teachers is to inculcate that creativity into the minds of the children and make them and let them and encourage them to become innovators. Emphasis on matters. Okay, how to solve the problem? Emphasize on problem solving matters and go for free thinking and be non judgmental too. This is also important. So this is what is all about innovation in a very simple way. It's a new, always new novel ideas will come. They should always be non-traditional and non-conventional ones. Enough space should be given for experimental, no judgment. Hey, encourage creativity in the best possible way. Inculcate into the minds of the children. Ignite that fire within them and see how things will change. They are bound to change. They will change. Innovation in education. How does it help us in education? We will initiate education. We will start in, 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 uh, this uh, innovation. How it will help us? First of all, uh, I will go through this way. Huh? It encourages teachers and students to explore, research, and use all the tools to uncover something new. Yes. It will encourage teachers. It will encourage the students. Simultaneously, both will be encouraged to explore to do some research, to find out something new and use all the tools, whatever is available to uncover something new. This will happen with innovation in education. Involves a different way of looking at problems and solving them. Yes. If a problem is looked in 10 different ways, then we will have 10 different solutions and when 10 different solutions will come the solving of the problem becomes easy because there is enough opportunity to solve them different ways we will not just limit ourselves to one or two ways that is also with innovation a very simple thing let us uh, let us take this one uh, you know once upon a time we used to ha have this uh, of course now also we are having the pneumatic tires the pneumatic tires of the vehicles whether it's a bicycle <laughs> or whether it is a uh, four wheeler or a, or a motorbike or whatever it is and inside this pneumatic tires what you have we have the tubes the tubes were inflated with air and the 
vehicle used to run. Now, what happened? Whenever, whenever, whenever the this the, there is to be a puncture, whenever there is to be a puncture in this particular tube due to due to the entry of some sharp materials in through the tire, then what would happen? The only only solution was go to a mechanic, take out the tube, and do a little bit of rubbing this and that, use some sort of an adhesive, put a patch around the hole where the hole of, hole has been formed. And again, put it inside the tire and let it go. Now, this went for a long period of time. But then, uh, then people started thinking that how can we bring a change in? How can we, uh, why, why uh, it, it is very tiresome and cumbersome for people to find out a mechanic. Maybe in the middle of the road, there was no mechanics. So, the, the big vehicles or the motorized vehicles, they were given a step knee. Yeah, so, one way of uh, one innovation came was give them a step knee. Another tire will be there. So quickly, the person himself, wherever the tire will be, wherever the puncture will be there, they can do it. And now the time has come where we have tubeless tires. No tubes. Okay, let us forget about the tube. Tubeless tires. No question. Even if something enters, the vehicle will travel for a good distance. And after that, it can be repaired. So see, now it's the same problem. The puncture. The problem was the tire puncture. But now we have three different ways of solving it. And the latest I heard is some sort of a chemical has arrived, which if it is put around the tire, the tubeless tire or the pneumatic tire, if that chemical is just, uh, that it is, it is put inside it, it is just like a, like a cream. It's like a cream. If you just spread the cream across the place, then there is 99% chance of not getting a punctured tire. So this is what innovation is. Different ways of looking into the problems and solving them. Increase the ability to think out of the box. Yes. The traditional thinking of the same way will not work anymore. No, think out of the box. Do something different. Make, make yourself valuable in this world. And innovation will obviously create, it will spark creativity. Just now, just some time ago I told you that the fire of creativity is there within each and every one of us. I always believe and I will believe for the rest of my life that each one of us is unique and unparalleled. All we need is either to evolve ourselves within ourselves or we need someone like Dr. Himansu Pandey to ignite the, ignite the fire within us and give us the opportunity to move forward. That's what we need. We need innovators also to help us. Develop problem solving skills. Just now we are discussing about problems. The more the problems, more innovations, more solving games, uh, skills, more ideas. Strive for excellence. Go for the best. Nothing but the best. Non use non-conventional and non-traditional methods. Nowadays, students, you will see the way they make the illustrations. Some of those we never even ever thought in our time, because to children are also also they are, they are also exposed to. Uh, Various means and ways of solving things. Na? The diagrams they do so fast and so quick. And all of this, all this, that is encouragement by the teachers, uh, spa, creating a spark or sparks the creativity or develop problem solving or strive for excellence will pave way to school improvement. At the end of the day, what we need, we need our children to learn and our schools to improve full and final that's where we want to finish off everything or maybe more than that well so this is what all about innovations in schools what else we have let us see uh online teaching respected teachers i will say one thing this uh, this pandemic you know it was definitely definitely a boon in disguise for the teaching fraternity. Look at this lady. See the teacher? And see this picture very, very clearly. She has a board, blackboard. And with by means of something, she has hung that cell phone. She has put on the camera, the video camera of the cell phone. And she is explaining something on the board, which has been picturized by the camera. and. 
through internet it is sent to the children if this is not innovation then what is innovation to be very honest with you initially when when the pandemic started and the first seven or ten days we were enjoying as if holidays have come but after that we realized that now we have to move forward we just cannot go on enjoy and then many teachers were reluctant to take on to technology many even i to, uh, to be very honest with you, i myself was also uh, on this matter but then within a span of 15 to 20 days the entire nation if not the if not the entire world the entire nation of ours suddenly technologically developed especially the teaching fraternity those teachers who are reluctant to use the cell phone properly or the computer properly or the internet properly or learn the language of the internet online teaching offline teaching this that what not suddenly within 15 days everybody became very not innovative and the process of education went on in, in you know if uh, i don't know how many of you are bengalis over there wo ek kaha baat hai ki chap jab aata hai jab pressure aata hai na to muh se baap nikal hi jata hai so this is the thing okay so that is that is also needed you know sometimes some external pressure some uh, something is needed in order to bring out the best of us and this is what happened this is what innovation is all about this is how we started now innovations that there are different ways of innovation innovations can be individual based innovation when one particular person is doing something and then that is utilized by other institutional based innovation when the entire organization in case of us the school teachers the students the principal the hod's all together they join hand and they come out with something different that is also i remember in my school when i was a student in my school uh, there was this uh, <coughs> man called mr anthony mr anthony used to be the laboratory assistant he used to be the laboratory assistant of all the three labs physics chemistry and biology and you know when we used to cut the during our time during our time in the plus 2 days in the plus 2 days Uh, we used to do the biology practicals and we used to cut the sections and see them under the microscope nowadays uh, it's not no more there these types of practicals are very less nowadays and there we used to cut and this man he had a very unique idea, way he had a very innovative way of cutting the sections and helping us so that the thinnest of the thin sections used to come and used to seen under the microscope so institutional based means when everybody is working together and system based a particular system is there a working system a working style on the basis of which innovation is created to make sure that the best comes out so innovation can be individual based that is by like you and me we are doing and each and every teacher has some sort of innovative ideas by the help of which he or she has survived for so many years of their service in the school i always say that teachers are the best innovators teachers are the best artists teachers are the best communicators teachers are the best sympathizers they are the best sports person teaching is not everybody's cup of tea because we do something completely in a completely different way so individual best maybe teacher best maybe student best institutional when all of us are joining hands together and doing it each one of us the teachers the students the hods the principal everybody so and system on the system on which it is working okay okay now initially innovations in school how we will you know how we will start it's like a three folded mechanism okay initiating innovation if you see these are like folds okay three fold one two three four so on and so forth okay so first of all we have to remember one thing that create opportunities for the students and who will come the teachers and the principal have to come out into the open and create opportunity for the students for making innovations for going for innovations second part is give the teachers the opportunity to learn and then apply their learning or their skills to go for innovations and once this is done once this is done then what will happen you know once this is done then what will happen the 
a culture for innovation will develop. So let us see once again. Create first of all that ground has to be you know, whenever we make something, you know, preparations are needed. The, the foundation has to be developed. The foundation has to be created. It has to be made solid. So create opportunities for students learning and innovation. Expand the teachers' perspectives about innovative pedagogies. Give the teachers that opportunity to go for the innovative pedagogies to learn, learn how the different things to come out with their ideas so that they can apply them in their day-to-day -day -day teaching learning process. And obviously, a culture of innovation will develop in the schools. So this is how we should start at the beginning. Creating a culture of innovation. How we will do it? Please listen to this page very carefully. Lot of things are written over here, very which are very much essential for our day-to-day -day work. And if you want, you can take a screenshot of this. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this. And through this, you can also get ideas about how you can do innovations in your school. So first of all, build expertise, knowledge, and necessary skills. Now, it is the duty of the principal to help the teachers to build expertise, get knowledge, and the necessary skills through in form of training programs, in form of workshops, in form of special learning processes and all. Second, provide the freedom to explore and the time to uh, time for ideas to incubate and develop. Yes, time limit should not be there. Turnkey project is something different which will not be applied over here. Provide the freedom to explore. Let them go out, the students, the teachers and all. Let them think, let them put on their thinking cap. Explore and the time for ideas to incubate. Incubate means let them heat up. You know, you have a, we have all incubators in the laboratories where uh, where any chemicals or something, uh, any uh, any anything that is that needs to be developed is put over there, and after up to after getting the right conditions, they develop into something new. That is an incubator to develop, like uh, the hen sits under the eggs for a certain period of time at that time the hen itself is working like an incubator and a time will come when the eggs will develop in the same way let the ideas incubate into the minds for that we need freedom allow flexibility and risk taking with no fear of judgment yes allow flexibility if something is rigid in life respected teachers i'll tell you good things will never happen why our NEP 2020 is so flexible? Because the previous ones were so rigid that there were good things. But you know, because of the rigidity, we were not getting that success which we expect to get in the near future by the use of this education policy. So rigidity is hazardous in our profession. Let us be flexible. Let us give our teachers the flexible world so that they can take the risk and, and there should be, and with no fear of judgment. We should not be judgmental. In the beginning also I told you, because judgmental is something that kills creativity. Okay, maybe in one go it will not work. Maybe in the second go it will not work. But definitely, definitely, definitely in the third go it's bound to work. Because the person who is also working is also thinking how to make the best out of it. So allow flexibility allow risk taking capacity and there should not be any fear for judgment we should not be judgmental enough so this is um, this applies both for the teachers and the students the teachers who are going for the innovation they should be given this freedom by the school leaders and the teachers who are bringing the children into the forefront for innovation they should also go for this provide intellectual stimulation what is good what is bad what should be done what should not be done what can be avoided this stimulation needs to be done Give it to the children. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Promote a growth mindset where failure is seen as a stepping stone to success. Yes. Growth will only develop if. See, when we are doing something, nah, when we are doing something, we are now. It's not necessary in the very first go, we will be the winners. If we, we are the winners, it's good. I'm not saying there's nothing, anything wrong with it. But it may not be possible. Maybe in the first round, it is not. The trial and error process should continue on and on and on till that that uh, zenith point is reached where success has finally arrived. 
if you look at Bloom's taxonomy, which we are applying every day in our classrooms, he always says, I mean, uh, the revised Bloom's taxonomy, where Lauren Anderson clearly stated that that mindset has to change from time to time. <clears throat> and uh, evaluation has to be done before we come out with something new. And we are bound to make mistakes. If we don't make mistakes, then we will not know. And that mistake will help us to weed off the thing that is not required in order to get the best. So that type of a mindset is needed. Failures are bound to come. Take them as stepping stones to success. Okay. So suppose if you are if you are coming out with a new idea and suddenly because of one particular point, you got, you got stuck. That means what? That idea, that particular thing. Uh, part of that system has to be removed because that is hindering the success of the entire system. So it is removed. It is our, we, are, we have learned that this will not work. Regularly conduct meetings to explore ways to seek support for innovations. Meetings with whom? The principal should conduct meetings with the teachers. The teachers should conduct meetings with the students, with the head of the departments, with the coordinators of the schools. Or, the, or rather the coordinators should sit with the teachers and the students and to find out what, what type of innovation has come out, what new ideas they have brought out to solve a problem in physics or chemistry or biology or mathematics. Like I will tell you in my school, you know, there was a, a big problem was there and it is still there. And I think this is an issue with all the schools at, with mathematics. Children are solving the problems. They are carrying the mathematics book always with them. The school is having surplus mathematics teachers. In spite of that, the mathematics result is always the worst. 10 to 15 get 80 to 90 percent or 90 to 100 percent. But the rest of the children are not getting it. So there was a, there was this problem was coming and my director was regularly telling me, sir, what is the, how can you solve the problem of mathematics? Why it is like this? So even I started thinking, I started thinking about my school days, my uh, school work. Although I'm a biology man, I'm not that much of a uh, mathematics man. Something needs to be done. At least that fear psychosis should go away. So I sat with the mathematics teachers and I told them that what you can think, huh? I asked them, what do you think should be done in order to make sure that at least in each and every class, 60% of the students should score more than 70% in mathematics. At least if that score is there, means they are with the subject. So they were, many started telling, okay, sir, they have to solve more problems. We have to work more hard in the classroom. I said, I understand everything. This is the traditional way. We'll work hard. We'll solve more problems. But something different, something non-conventional, non-traditional by which you can make sure that the children love the mathematics and they solve it. Then after a lot of discussions, we came to this conclusion that take the students to the field. Make them understand what mathematics is that it is not, not only limit them to the classrooms and the blackboard. Take them outside. Let them see how a tangent works. How your this uh, of different classes, how the length, breadth works. How the addition subtraction works and every day every day asks them to solve six problems of the given exercise i told the teachers you solve three you solve three problems of each chapter first three and the last three so you will be able to solve the easiest one and the difficult ones and ask the students to solve every day in the house six problems from each chapter, they will, I mean, from each exercise that they will do. Don't go for all the ones, otherwise, the, throughout the day, they will spend on that. And you will not believe me, respected teachers, it worked. Within a year or two, we started getting results in mathematics. And today, I am very, very happy to let you know that my school is one of the schools across Dhanbad which has good mathematics results. So some of the ideas have to come. No? You have to come out with innovative ideas to bring out the best. And I think many schools are using this idea. Not only I am, I'm not posting that I have done. This is not my, I felt that if it can be done in this particular way, it can work and it worked. And I think many such schools are doing this. 
mathematics i mean each and every subject has to be taught with the potentiality of the subject with the value of the subject with understanding of the subject and the rationalization of the subject rather than going for a rote learning some of mug and jug it and finish it off so it is this is the way we can go for innovations to make something different children find very difficult to speak in english so, well we have to come out with ideas they find very difficult to write paragraphs especially in our public schools and schools like where where i am located which is almost a rural area where it is difficult to get the best english speakers but then practice ideas have to come out okay right we'll move a little forward so this is how the culture of innovation will start i will just quickly recapitulate this particular page it's very important respected teachers if you want you can take a screenshot of it and you can put it on your classroom so build expertise knowledge with the necessary skills okay get those skills develop do some research think out of the box provide the freedom we should provide freedom to the children as well as to the teachers the school leaders should provide freedom to the teachers so that they can they can take their time they can incubate ideas they can let the ideas boil and develop let them get flexibility let us not be very rigid let's not be scared of taking the risk and let's not be judgmental okay whatever is coming let it come provide intellectual stimulation this will provide intellectual stimulation that is that uh, what is good what is bad what needs to be taken what's what should not be taken how how rational things can be put together that is what is in uh, this uh, intellectual stimulation will be a mindset will be grown where failure will be taken as a uh, forget about failure if, if it's a failure it's a, it's a lesson to learn and be regular feedbacks meetings are important to see where we are how far we are moving we may not we should not be judgmental but we should be vigil the vigilance should be there to see how things are working monitoring is very very important follow up is very very important two words that we often use in our world monitoring and follow up implementation is there how we are monitoring it and how we are following it let's have a case study we'll have a case study and then respected teachers you will give your ideas okay uh we have this uh, particular case study about mrs venkat let's see <coughs> mrs venkat all of you read the story i'll give you one or two minutes to read the story then i will read the story and then we'll ask i'll ask the questions the questions will come one after another this is about mrs venkat Uh, okay, I'll read the story. Mrs. Venkat was very excited about trying out a new digital tool in her class. Fine, very good. She had practiced it at home and had got the tablets from the school for her students to share. Okay. She also invited the principal to showcase her lesson. Very good. Mrs. Venkat's excitement soon died down as she was summoned by the principal after her class the principal mentioned how disappointed and upset she was as the tool used was inappropriate one entire lesson for teaching learning had been compromised due to mrs venkat's new ways of wanting to do things in the given scenario think of how would you feel if you were mrs venkat okay since i am not able to see the answers to date so i will request sir to tell us what the teachers are thinking about this answer sir if you can just please let us know yeah sure so this is a story about mrs venkat was very uh, very excited with a new digital tool in her class she uh, called principal to showcase her uh, work but uh, principal was not at all motivated principal was not at all happy she was disappointed and she told mrs venkat that you have wasted a day's learning okay it has been compromised now 
due to Mrs. Venkert's new ways of wanting to do things. In this scenario, think of how would you feel if you were Mrs. Venkert? So let's see what are the teachers are saying us. How will you feel seeing the previous, uh, thinking about the previous page? Okay, how will you think? Vikram if you were writing, I will try another two. Okay, okay, sir. Punjan, also try another one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, sir, any, 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 any response, sir? Yeah, yeah, there are many responses. Can many responses. Me? Yeah. yeah, many of them are uh, writing that uh, they will try the new tool. Okay, yeah. they will try once Am again. Amika Tiwari in writing, I will try to convince the principal as it is an innovation. Others are writing, they will try another tool, another idea, another innovation. Achha, they will try another idea. Okay, uh, some are saying that they will try another idea. Some uh, Someone is saying that he, he or she will try to convince the principal this is a very innovative idea. It may take some time to understand. That's what they mean, no, sir? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, yes, yes. See, see, the thing is that failure is bound to come. Maybe the person who is not that much, that a person who doesn't have that much of idea may also may not like your idea in the initial stages. But then we should not get upset. If I were in, if you ask me, sir, what would, in, if I was in Mrs. Venkat's place, I would have definitely convinced my principal that I'm trying my best to do it, but this is not the end of the day or this is not the end of the game. So, and that failure will give me to think more in a different way. And I will take it as a step for towards success. This is what we teachers should have in our minds. This is what is my take. I may be wrong. And whatever you said, you people are also absolutely correct. We'll have the second one. What do you, what you will be willing, would you, sorry, would you be willing to experiment and innovate and innovate in future? Will you go out for this? I think Maxima will say yes. Yes or no, sir? Yes, sir. No? Of course. Yes. Any other writing, yes. Yes, we will not stop. We will go forward. Yes. It, listen, why you will stop? Okay, maybe a mistake has come. But if I stop over there, then how will I go and innovate in, for future? And the third one, how would you conduct yourself if you were Mrs. Venkat's principal? Yes, this is the question of the day, I will say, for this particular case study. How would you conduct yourself if you were Mrs. Venkat's principal? Let's see. Sir, you will get, uh, tell us one answer, sir, please. Huh? Whoever, wh whoever is writing, uh, if yeah. he or she was Mrs. Venkat's principal, I'll, I'll, then... I'll convert you. Yes, sir, please, sir. Find the problem and guide solution. This is one answer from Mr. Alok. Uh, find the problem and find the guide, and? guide guide solution. Guide solution. Okay. okay. Mr. Right. Abhinav is writing. I would have first tried to understand the idea from Mrs. Venkat. Right. And sir. then right. Ms. Reena is writing. I will never disappoint my teacher. I suggest if I have something, some good idea. Okay, fantastic. Yes, fantastic. Yes. So if I were the principal, if I was Mrs. Venkat's principal, maybe if I have not understood it, definitely, but I will, I will not scold her or I will not say that I am disappointed or I will, I will go in the negative way. I'll tell, okay, fine. What you are doing is good. You are trying your best. Try to be better because we principals also have to encourage our teachers when they are coming out with something new. You know, we are here to make human beings. We are uh, not here uh, to make uh, robots and zombies. On a on a lighter note, I have another question. Yes, sir. If this yes, sir. instance, if this instance of Mrs. Venkat is mm -hmm. the continuous seventh one, then if it goes for the seventh time, yes, uh, sir, uh, I will give her one final eighth chance, sir. Oh, if good. she can bring out the best, means she is trying her best. Okay. Uh, uh, I will always go for a next chance and I, I will give her a chance more to see if she can because for seventh time she has been, she, she's unsuccessful maybe on the eighth time she will be successful and come out with exact what idea she is coming out so this is what uh, I will always believe this is a bit of uh, non-conventional teaching because uh, 
of course we have to think about our syllabus and all these things are also there and so much time is but still if a teacher is trying if a teacher is trying to bring bring out something different then that no that flexibility should be given to her on this note i will give her one more chance and after that also if she then we have to think it in a different way sir then we have to we have to again uh, reverse the process in a different way this is my take sir what do you say sir no i will say uh -huh. see, the, 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 when the principal called with swankar and said the things this is also right. a kind of lesson giving example this is not something exactly. that should be taken in a wrong way definitely you know, the same when the principal is trying to say convince the other side the swankar yes sir Right. This is also a try, a try, a try. Definitely, try and error method. Try and error. Yes, sir. Yes. Movement in language. Exactly. Exactly. So that is how the system of learning goes away. You know, try, retry, again try. Okay. And you will find those teachers who come out with these types of ideas, who who are failures in one or two cases, but then they are they later turn out to be the best teachers of the school because that zeal of doing something is different. Not just the heck of some of finish of the syllabus and and get the things done. I have seen a few teachers like this in my life also during my days as a teacher, as a principal, as a vice principal, and they all turn out to be very successful teachers in the latter part of their life. So it needs it needs hard work. It needs and it needs it needs a special person to find out who this one is. वो बोलता है ना कि जोहरी हिरा को पहचान जाता है, तो वैसे जोहरी भी होना चाहिए प्रिंसिपल को भी और जो भी है उनके साथ. uh expand prospectives of teachers to implement innovative pedagogies how you will help how the, the teachers will go on putting on the uh, imp implement innovative ped pedagogies promote collective responsibility among teachers the teachers themselves should join hands with each other and they should uh, they should promote collective responsibility this yeah. teacher will that what nowadays we talk lot about collaborative learning this is this also plays a vital role in collaborative learning let all the all teachers join hands together and come out with the different ideas develop professional learning communities for sharing ideas best practices and innovation within the school the teacher the students they should make communities encourage and support teachers to try out new ideas the students should encourage the teachers the teachers should encourage the students and finally the principal should also be there to encourage the teachers encourage collaboration and say, and set aside time for planning give more time go for planning because it's planning that works everywhere so encourage collaboration okay you need this i'll give you this okay you need this i'll give you that that type of an understanding should be there no? there should not be any ill feeling or ego feeling among the teachers and among other members of the school because at the end of the day we have to remember that we are dealing with the students and we have to make them the best from our schools lead discussions on alternative practices and their relative merits not don't go only for the traditional ones go for the alternative practices different practices challenge teachers to try innovative pedagogies ask the teachers ask the students to come out with ideas explore technology platforms tools gam gamifications and everything which is needed whatever is available use them and get the best out of it that's how the teachers will implement the the innovative pedagogies in schools and you know what are the different types of innovative teaching and learning strategies that we have blended learning <coughs> it's a, there's a very good training program on blended learning now it is blended learning is getting lot of importance the traditional classroom will be there along with that the digital classroom and both are taken together and the learning continues gamification use different types of games to make things learn quicker multi literacies in the english different apply the literacies embodied learning computational thinking think in a very rational way with the it and of course experiential learning learn from your experience do what you want and from that doing learn and get the best knowledge which you will remember for the lifetime so these are some of the innovative teaching and learning strategies that we can apply blended learning gamification multi literacies multi literacies over here means having having competent ideas about languages different types of languages and how you can utilize them experiential learning we all know about it computational thinking use the it the mathematics part of the brain the it part it thinking and join them together combine them together and learning
And as a principal, I will always say as a principal, we should always expand prospectives of teachers so that they get better prepared for implement of innovative pedagogies in school and transform the schools into better classrooms. Sorry, transform the classrooms into better classroom, classrooms to better classrooms. Create opportunities for students learning and innovation. Now the teachers, the principals and the students should all join and let us get encourage inquiry based learning. If students ask something, please, for God's sake, answer them. Don't hush away the question saying, I hey, know this is not needed. That is not needed. Respected teachers, if you are, if, if children ask you something, if they inquire from you something, give them the ideas. If you don't have them at that, if you don't have the answer right at that moment with you, okay, you can always tell, okay, okay, look, son, I'll, I'll give you within half an hour the answer or I'll give you after 24 hours. But please make sure when you have promised something, you deliver it. If you don't, then you as a teacher will not be taken seriously by the student. Inquiry based learning, more and more ideas they will bring out. Focus on competency building. Again, competent enough, make them competent enough so that they can utilize their learning qualities, their learning materials, their learning matters into their day to day life in the best possible way so that they can solve whatever problems that will come. That is what exactly is competency based learning. Provide opportunity to work on projects dealing with real world problems. Yes. Do project work, do studies, let them do some research on the real world problems. Now the temp now see right now see the condition. The temperature is every in the summer time the temperature is rising so high, it is becoming very difficult. So can a project be done on how to bring out this? Okay, one of them is definitely we all say plant trees, uh, create areas where there will be more moisture and all. Fine. Any other thing apart from that, we can do it. Give voice to students' ideas. Listen to them. Don't just hush away with their ideas and say no, no, no. This will not because they are young, so they. So the, this will not be taken into consideration. No, 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 don't. No, all of I think all of you have seen that movie, Three Idiots, where that uh, that boy, that, that the young student, he comes out with an idea and the principal simply throws it into the dustbin. No, we should not be that type of principals and teachers. If students are coming out with ideas, let us listen to their ideas. Let us see what they want to say. Let us hear if they want to what they want to say. Let us see what they want to do. And let us encourage them. Then only we will become ideal teachers, and we will we will definitely go for innovation. Widen students' perspectives. Make it in a broader way. You know, let the thinking, let the understanding, let the let the inquiry-based learning should be broad enough, not limited within a few things or so. That is that will lead to learning and innovation. Encourage students to undertake courses, summer projects. Okay. Develop skills and behaviors needed for innovations to encourage self-reliance. Now, how these behaviors will be developed? Let the students have that feeling within themselves, that positive feeling. Yes, they can do it. You can do it. I can do it. Just now, sir, gave us that while this program is going on, sir also gave us an answer, which gives us opportunity to learn. So let us let us develop some sort of skills within the students to make them that they, they, they should not feel dismantled, they, do, they do, should not feel, uh, uh, they should not have a low profile or something like that. Let, let their self-reliance develop. Then only they will study. So this is also a duty of the teachers to encourage the students, okay, to inspire them. As they say, no, that there is a saying that uh, an ordinary teacher teaches. A good teacher informs, an extraordinary teacher creates, but a great teacher, a great teacher influences the students. This is Samaj Badal Jata hai. The thinking changes, the behavior pattern of the students changes. The teacher inspires, a unique teacher inspires, and with that inspiration, the entire life of the student changes and with that life of the student, the society changes with the change of society, the community changes with the change of community, the nation changes. Samaj mein parivartan aa jata hai, viplab aa jata hai. Ye bhi hum teachers karte hai. That way we have to work. And we are working and many of you are doing it. That's why you all are so successful. 
otherwise why himang susar will travel to taiwan and china uh, for the betterment of the students kya zarurat ka what sir am i correct or not <laughs> yes i like these parts of yours whenever you go out and you bring out the best of this for the students inquiry based learning through steam education okay nowadays now steam has got converted into steam uh, that is science technology engineering let's go for an approach let the students ask asking 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 is very important you know inquiry based approach science technology engineering arts all should be taken together and this should be learning so that right from the very beginning they will have a complete idea about the scientific world okay now that not only the scientific world they will have an idea with the literary world uh, with the world of politics and everything i uh, will not go for this and so if you have any innovative ideas or mindset you can always go for them come out with the best and give your students the best so let's understand innovator innovator's mindset fixed mindset i wish i could but i cannot because i am not smart enough this is called as a fixed mindset okay innovator's mindset i found this on google and i think we can make it better with a little tweak so this is the innovator's mindset a fixed mindset is there some of the teachers are also having a fixed mindset i wish i could but i can't because i am not smart enough so that fear psychosis are there among teachers also because of which the students also don't learn but then there are risk taking teachers in the beginning of so we said no take the risk somebody has found something in google not only in google maybe somewhere else also and it we can make it a little better with a little tweak these teachers are innovative ones but the rest of the staff will never get it once they retire they can hire more innovative teachers think like an innovator what would be your uh, response in such a situation always think like an innovator okay uh self audit for innovations at school pick the best level this you can take a screenshot of it right now it is very difficult to go because this is a 2 hour training program they will take then school culture supports innovation advance proficient and all these things are there you can take a, sc a sc uh, screenshot of these teachers and you can later discuss with among yourselves and i will show you a video sir is the video working sir i doubt i doubt for video working but you can try just see if it is if it is working sir is it moving is it is it yeah, is it a movie or it is a still one it's a movie but there is no sound in it sound is not there no acha yeah. sir okay okay sir sound will not be there okay it is just a background music is there nothing more than that it talks more about what it is more in words and deeds sir right sir so let them see it let them see it yeah
Uh, there, this is a survey form which you, if you want, you can just take a screenshot of it and you can just discuss among yourself, respected teachers, how you see innovation in your own way. Okay. So with this, uh, we will come to the end of today's program. Uh, Himansu, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, if you are there with us, sir. Uh, so that's with yeah. that, we come to the end of today's program, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you. So thank you so much, sir. It was an excellent session. Thank you, and sir. Thank you very much. We all have enough opportunity to learn a lot. And uh, uh, we'll uh, keep disturbing you for the next sessions. Uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I'm always there. It is a learning session for me also, sir. Definitely, sir. Yeah. I'm always there. And I told you, no, sir, I don't have the guts to tell you. I No, I don't I have the guts to tell you, no, sir. Yeah, I can't. Thank so, thank you, sir. So thank you all the participants. Uh, the feedback attendance links have already been circulated. 
just as one announcement, if you can uh, you can lodge your attendance up to six thirty instead of six fifteen right in the message box. So uh, please uh, do it on time. Thank you so much. Thank you for the lunch. Thank you, sir. Now we can leave. Now I am getting the messages. Now I am getting the messages. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rina, madam. Thank you, Shreya, ma'am. Gulnaz, ma'am. Thank you very much for your beautiful message. But uh, we will always thank Mansu, sir, for giving me this particular chance to be with you all, to be associated with you all. And you know, one needs to be lucky enough to be associated with so many learned people at a time. Uh, I think today we had around around 300 participants. Some may have left, but that is also, a, it's a big one today. Uh, it's 550. Hmm. 550, no sir. So uh, five to be associated with 550 learned parts per people is a big uh, one has to be lucky enough to be that. It's a blessing from God. It's a blessing from God that we get involved with ourselves with so many learned people together at a time on one particular platform. Okay, sir. So with this, sir, uh, I think I will remove myself from the system, sir. Yeah, please. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you all the participants. Now we can leave. Yes.